Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Medspiration. Did you watch what I just watched? Where that young lady seemed to age about 50 years in a time lapse of about 30 seconds? By now, most of us understand the health problems that can arise from smoking cigarettes. Healthy lungs are pink. Smokers lungs are black. Every time you smoke a cigarette, you're inhaling ammonia, the bleach and toilet cleaner, acetone, the chemical and nail polish remover, benzene, found in paid stripper, and hydrogen cyanide, used in rat poison. Blood that's thick and dirty with toxins circulates through your body in seconds, increasing your chances of a heart attack, stroke, and lung cancer. Despite graphic warnings, many continue to smoke, and many begin to start smoking. But we do have some inspiration for you. You can quit and regain healthy lungs if you're willing to stay the course. The sobering truth is that we can reverse lung tissue damage and decrease our chances of contracting lung cancer if we quit smoking cigarettes entirely. Modern discoveries point to remedies, both herbal and traditional, that could help stave off total lung damage due to cigarette smoke and rejuvenate the lungs over the course of many years. You can take immediate steps to achieve immediate relief right now. Number one, eat raw organic honey. Real raw honey that's not pasteurized and not heated comes straight from the beehive and is a potent superfood sweetener gathered by one of the most profound creatures on planet earth, the honeybee. It brims with all natural antibacterial, antiviral, and antiseptic properties. The human use of honey as a natural medicine has been dated back as far as 8,000 years ago. In addition to the important role of honey in traditional medicine, the National Library of Medicine also accepts raw organic honey as an effective medicine for many kinds of disease, including gastrointestinal, cardiovascular, inflammatory, and neoplastic states. Even with years of smoking, people who consume raw honey daily report that they start coughing up tar after only a week of honey therapy. Number two, breathe deep. Smoking damages the lungs air sacs. These tiny bags that inflate and deflate as gases are exchanged take the most toll from cigarette smoke. Emphysema, which happens when the air sacs are destroyed, is irreversible, so it's important to quit smoking before this condition sets in. To exercise the lungs, you need to inhale slowly and deeply so that all the tissues are oxygenated well. This is what our heart and lungs look like when we consciously choose to inflate them by inhaling deeply. When we choose to take a focused deep breath, we intentionally bless every single one of our organs and cells with a fresh new supply of oxygen to extrapolate energy from. Forming a connection with our body and nourishing it through this practice is a common technique amongst athletes, individuals who exercise regularly, practice yoga, and or meditation. This helps assist the lungs in removing excess tar that may be stuck in the lungs. Number three, eat alkaline vegetables and chlorophyll rich foods. Alkaline vegetables and chlorophyll rich foods such as root vegetables, leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, cayenne pepper, garlic, lemon, raisins, juiced wheatgrass, chlorella, blue-green algae, sprouted seeds, and nuts. Smokers often suffer from bluish lips and fingernails that result from a lack of oxygen and poor circulation. Raw foods not only cleanse, but also more importantly, increase the body's oxygen uptake by producing more blood. Number four, get a massage. Receiving a massage distributes lymph evenly throughout the body. Lymph is a clear to white fluid that is comprised of white blood cells, protein, and fats that travels through the blood vessels and moves within tissues to keep the body clean. We have roughly 500 to 1500 lymph nodes in our body which are responsible for removing about 3 liters of fluid a day. Massages also help promote deep breathing which stimulate lymphatic duct drainage. For those of you who are wondering how to purify smokers' lungs in hopes to repair tissue damage, you can see by the suggestions in this week's episode that doing so is easy. What's challenging is sticking with the regimen, but the rewards of improved breathing and better overall health are well worth the effort. 
That's it for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the healthiest family on YouTube. I wanted to give a special shout out to my good friend Shy, the owner of Medical Talks on Instagram, for hitting 1 million followers. Man, that's, a, that's one hell of an accomplishment. Congratulations, homie. Also, I made this video because Crystal Naylor, the owner of Beauty by Sea, requested for us to make this video. If you have any suggestions on a future video or topic, be sure to comment below and I'll see what I could do. Thank you.